Hi everyone, in this video I will show you Hue Metro version and how Apple HomeKit with the IKEA Balls working together. The reason why it is important that if you have a Hue Bridge already and you want to have a cost-effective smart home solution with IKEA bulbs, you don't actually need to buy a Drigger Hub yet. With Matter, it will be much easier to have a Apple HomeKit support from these devices even though they are third-party, meaning that you won't need to actually have that actual device manufacturer hub and you can use that third party one you already have please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications for next videos here i want to quickly show you how to install the developer version of the metro update to the hue flips hue device that way you can easily use this items that i will show you in this video so as you can see here, we have this QR code and all you need to do is just open that up and it will actually open it in the Hue app a specific section as Matter Beta. So once you click on it, it just tells you some of the notifications and information to go over if you're okay with that. So you can just continue with the next steps. Once you continue with the next steps, you will receive a pairing code that will be loaded right away. So just copy that code to be used with the Apple HomeKit setup. Let's exit your app and open the Apple Home. And here add accessory and you will see the Metro accessory right away. Click on it and paste the code here. And once you continue, you will start seeing your devices. You will need to continue with add anyway. It takes a bit of time, but you will have it soon there. All right, as you can see now, it asked me for the bridge location. I'll just choose the living room here. And I will change it to Philips Metro accessory so I can show you the difference. All right, so it's added successfully. Now let's continue. And now it's asked me about the accessory location. So as you can see, it says could not complete. So if you receive this error, exit setup to finish setup later. That way actually you can continue later on. So don't worry, this is not a big problem here. So just exit right away. All right, enable automatic updates for sure. And now I can just go and check the app, nothing here yet. Let's give it a look again, nothing yet. All right, so I can see that accessories. So choose accessories to set up. As you can see, I have the IKEA lights showing up here right away. And these IKEA lights are part of my Hue bridge. So this is good news, guys. If you have a Hue bridge, you can use them with Metro in your home kit. Now I will quickly set them up. Perfect, setup has been completed. Now I'm quickly checking and I can see my hallway lights, which are IKEA lights. And also there is one IKEA in my office room, so they're all perfectly showing up here. This is awesome. I wanna show you the regular firmware versus Matter. I also have a Hue switch as I showed you before. So the good thing is that you can have actually single press and long press option with Matter. So this is great because it has only limited to a single click. Also here, I wanna show you the accessories that we have for the regular Flips Hue firmware versus the Flips Matter. As you can see, we have three extra devices which are IKEA bulbs on Hue exposed in an Apple HomeKit, which is awesome. So just give it a look when I click on the settings, you can actually see those lights as IKEA. Here is another validation for those. I just wanted to make sure uh, you're aware of that. So when you click on the settings, you can just see that the manufacturer is IKEA. And when you click on the bridge, you will see that it is Hue.
All right, here's a quick review with the scene setup. So I have this ambient scene that I included those hallway lights. As you can see, you can easily adjust the light colors and the brightness as in this section. And once you set it up, you can just easily use these scenes for your any devices on your Hue Hub with this Meta update. So in this example, I have the IKEA bulbs and we can easily use them as part of my scene with no issue at all, meaning that I don't need to do any kind of third party additional uh, shortcuts, updates or something like that. So it will be much easier to use. As you see, I'll just click ambient. And once I click on it, you can just double check at the bottom that you will see the hallway lights now updated to that light colors easily and they're just turned on automatically. So these are IKEA bulbs on Hue Bridge. So this is a great one because if you already have a Hue Bridge, it's awesome. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, get notifications and leave a comment if you have any video content ideas or any feedback. Thank you so much. Bye for now.